Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. It's been a long, hot summer. We haven't been doing much forging because it gets to be about 140 degrees in this shop, but uh, we've been doing a lot of work on the shop itself. We've uh, pretty much remodeled the whole shop, did a bunch of upgrades, got things squared away where it'll be much nicer to work in, the videos will look better. Uh, we're going to show you what we uh, did with some of these stools and this bar we put in over here and some other things. So uh, then we'll give you a little tour around the shop at the end of this and uh, show you exactly what all we did and how much nicer it's going to be. So thanks for being here. I really appreciate you guys coming along with me on this. Uh, we've got some night projects we're going to be starting here pretty soon. We're going to finish up my brother's uh, uh, pipe wrench jaw knife that we we're working on. And we're going to get back in the swing of it and start putting up some regular videos again. So thanks for being here again, and uh, let's get to it.
right, guys, as promised, here we go. Of course, you notice we got both the bikes parked in here. It is, uh, it is cold here now. We've got some snow on the ground. It's about 30 degrees out here right now. My brother's working on, I just ordered some uh, LED lights. I put these smoke headlights in my pickup. As you can see, oh, by the way, I got a new pickup. But you can see I put these smoke lights with LED accents in them. And the regular headlight bulbs were not near bright enough to uh, light things up like we needed them to through those smoke lenses. So we put these, uh, or these LED lights, they're very bright. We won't know how well they work until it gets dark though. But um, here's what we did. We got all this paneling put up, built a rack there with a bunch of hooks on it for my, my belts. I'm going to do something else with those small belts. But I just hung them up there with those other belts to get them out of the way for now. And we're not quite done arranging things in here yet. Um, because I've got a few things that I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. But we got all this. Got my flag up. Uh, we've got all this paneling done. We painted the ceiling so that it reflects the light really well. Much brighter in here. Uh, put up a few little uh, accent signs and what have you. Uh, here's my favorite one, right above the anvil. If you can see that. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? So, uh, pretty much the anvil, the forge, my table where I put my, where I lay some of my tools and things, and my uh, flux and that when I'm welding. Uh, every, all of that's in the same spot. Um, but over here, we've got the toolbox. It's moved over a ways from where it was. We put uh, LED lights in this end of the shop. As you can see, I've got one right over the toolbox so you can see to get your tools. Then we put these up here, kind of staggered them in uh, in a little different way so that when you're working over here at the bench I don't really cast a shadow real bad you know anywhere where I'm working and I've got one right here straight above the grinder you can't have enough light when you're grinding you remember the old bench that we had right here it was just a horizontal surface that floppy wobbly old bench in my other videos but we had these two old shelves, sanded them all out, painted them. I'm sure you saw that, parts of that in one of, them, one of my older videos. But now everything is more organized. Things are grouped together where we need them. Uh, so things are much easier to uh, access. Moved the compressor over here next to the bench. And we put up a hose reel here with 50 feet of hose. I can reach clear out to the back of the driveway with that bad boy. Uh, there's the small welder there. We put in several plugs. Uh, if you'll remember right, I only had the one four-way plug over by the refrigerator. So now we've got one right here by the window next to the bench where the uh, grinders set up. Um, still got to kind of clean off this bench. We're not done quite yet rearranging everything, but we've got the big welder over here, the 170 amp. My brother wired in that 220 plug right there, so we don't have to mess with that. The old black toolbox is still where it was. All the paneling is done in here. We've still we've got this little flimsy little stand here that the stereo has been on. That's going to come off of there. We'll put the stereo on top of the refrigerator, out of the way, and that thing goes in the trash. There's no room for it in here, no use for it anyway. Uh, then coming over this way, here is the crown jewel of our work in here this summer. Put in this cool little man cave corner. Um, came out very nice. Of course, we've got the uh, we've got the bar here, um, the river bar that we've been working on. Uh, I got a stupid bag of salt in the way, 
So my lights aren't lighting up like they should. There's the river bar. Put a lot of hours and a lot of work and polishing and shining into that bad boy. But we've got uh, the LED lights down through the river in the center. Got matching LED lights up above at the ceiling. There's seven different colors. We could change colors and what have you. Uh, we did the stools. All of the stools are done. Uh, fractal burned. Inlaid them with blue. Uh, blue tinted epoxy resin. And this is very nice because you remember that table. We had a table sitting there. And it stuck way out here with chairs and stuff clear out to where my bike is sitting here. And it just took up too much room. So we went ahead and built that bar and kind of a cool little man cave hangout type thing. We've been hanging a few little things on the wall. Here's a board. If you remember from my other video, we did this piece of oak board here, fractal burned it, and uh, inlaid it with the blue tinted epoxy. Got these coach lights up here. Found these great bulbs that make it look like a gas light. The video doesn't do it much justice, but believe me, if you're standing in here looking at it, it looks like there's a flame burning in there. And that's really cool. Then we put these coach lights up there, and we just left the regular bulbs in them because uh, these here, they don't really light the place up a whole lot. They just give it kind of an ambiance. And I put a couple of old knives and up on the wall. That right there is like one of the first knives I ever made, that little green one there. Uh, and then there's a pig sticker that I took off of a guy down in Al uh, Phoenix when I was a security guard down there. And an old hatchet my brother bought. Put up some signage in here. I was going to make a clock to put on the wall here. But I kind of like the Harley theme, so I ordered this neon Harley clock. I think it looks really cool in here. Here's the old open beers, the best beer uh, sign that we had in here. We put it back up on the wall. So uh, we put some old, there's an old cable Damascus that I tried, but it never did weld up very well. But I thought it'd be a cool memory to throw up on the wall, old rusty saws and stuff up here. We're going to put a lot more stuff up here like that. Uh, put an old piece of motorcycle chain up on top of that. On top of that fractal burned oak that we put up there. It's a cool place for it. So, got us a little skull there by the plugs. That's another thing. We have that two, prong, uh, two outlet plug there. Got another two outlet plug over here. Um, and we're getting, I've ordered a natural gas 30,000 BTU heater that's going to go on the wall right there. My furnace and my water heater are right on the other side of that wall. So that'll be very easy to patch into with a piece of flex tube. And, uh, and when we're working in the shop, when we're not forging, we'll be able to turn that on and keep the door closed because it's a non-vented uh, deal, 99.9% .9 clean. We still have that plug there. Uh, over here, we wired up another plug here. So now we've got plenty of outlets. If you remember, we had, uh, we used to have extension cords all over the shop and it was just a pain. So uh, this is gonna make it a lot nicer. We won't have the extension cords everywhere and tripping over them and strung all over. Like I say, we're not completely done straightening up in here. Uh, we'll get rid of that old stand that the stereo's on and put it on the fridge. I gotta clean my bench up here again, but uh, we're pretty much back in business and ready to, ready to start forging and making some knives and what have you again. So uh, yeah, all in all, I'm real happy with how it all came out. I mean, remember we put one inch foam board in behind all that paneling and all those fur strips in that wall. And I'm telling you, it made a, quite a bit of difference in here. As long as that door is shut, uh, even without the forge running or, or the heater in here, you can come down in the shop and you it's a noticeable difference. It's much warmer in here now. So, uh, so everything 
You know, it doesn't seem like much when you just show it in a video, but we worked our butts off on this all summer. Ran into a lot of problems. Uh, if you've watched my other videos as we were progressing through this, um, you know what I'm talking about. So, anyway, there it is. Just wanted to give you a nice little uh, grand tour of the finished project and the bar and everything that we did. Uh, that's my favorite part right there. I just love how this came out. My only, the only thing I don't like about this bar is I wish it was in the house. But I really don't have anywhere to put one, something like that, in the house. So, and we kind of like to hang out out here because some guys smoke and what have you. And there's no smoking in the house. So, uh, it's kind of nice to have this out here. Once we get the natural gas heater put in here, we'll be able to hang out down here in the shop. Uh, and guys can light up if they want or whatever and not, uh, you know, we're not smoking out the house and, and what have you. So, very cool. Uh, it's fun to have all this cleaned up and done and this shop has been such a mess all summer long and now we've got room in here uh, for my bike and my brother's bike so nice to get those in out of the weather um, like I say we've got a few things yet that we kind of need to shuffle around a little bit and figure out how we're going to make it work but uh, all in all the main thing was to make it look nicer in here and to make it more organized. And having those shelves over there with everything organized and uh, to where you can just go grab whatever you need makes it so much nicer than just having that pile of junk. All of that stuff that you see on them shelves, pretty much all of it, about well, two thirds of it, was on that bench, that old rickety bench over there and it was just piled on there. You had to dig through piles of garbage to get what you were looking for, and, uh, and it just sucked. It, was just, it wasn't very feasible you know, to do it that way. If I needed a, my cutoff tool, I'd have to go dig through piles of junk over there to find my hardy cutoff tool. You know? Now I know exactly where it is. I can just go get it and get back to work, so that's gonna make things a lot nicer. So, um, yeah. Uh, all done, pretty much all done for the most part, for the uh, all intents and purposes. So, thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you watching, and watch for some more videos to be coming up pretty soon. I got uh, two knives that I'm going to make that are going to actually be used instead of just for show, more or less. Uh, I need to make a fillet knife for a friend, and then uh, if you remember my buddy Bob up in Washington, he's ordered two knives from me that I've sent to him. His wife got a hold of me; she wants me to make her a paring knife. So we're going to get on those. I bought a, uh, a vacuum pump and a vacuum chamber, some cactus juice, because I've got some really punky wood that a friend of mine gave to me, my neighbor, um, that's beautiful wood, but it, but it was useless. It, it'll crumble if you, you know, if you squeeze it too hard. So now I can put that in the vacuum chamber uh, and stabilize it so I can virtually use any any kind of wood I want to. Heck, I could take some cardboard, stabilize that, and make uh, knife scales out of it if I wanted to. So that's cool. We've got kind of a little knife room set upstairs, up upstairs in uh, one of the bedrooms, uh, an extra bedroom. So when it's cold down here, and I don't have to run the furnace if I'm just doing finished work or sanding or, you know, on a blade, polishing, what have you. I could go up there and do that where it's nice and warm. So. Uh, anyway, again, thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned. Watch for more videos coming out soon. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.